Hello everyone, this is Tyler with THJ Coffee. Today I am going to discuss six common myths about coffee that most people today still believe in but are indeed not true. Number one, coffee causes insomnia. Um, coffee, it's not the wisest thing to drink after a certain hour, but caffeine is often processed through the body in four to five hours. In Within 9 to 10 hours, 75% of caffeine is eliminated from the body. And for this reason, 2 to 3 cups should not affect your, your daily sleep regimen. Now, the other big thing to remember is how much water are you drinking with this. The, the more water you drink, equally speaking, will also, it will also flush out the caffeine faster. So... If you're drinking a bit later, probably best to also have a little more water also. Number two is coffee causes dehydration. Now, there's nothing better out there than H2O. H2O obviously is what is number one for the body. Um, coffee is known to have a mild diuretic effect, um, yet it doesn't directly cause dehydration. In some studies, they've shown that coffee has the same hydrating effect as water. Now, if, if it's a choice between coffee and water for hydration, water is better, but coffee is in fact more hydrating than soda or some juice beverages, in fact. Number three is coffee will sober you up. This has been seen in many cases in movies and television and, and books, um, there, there was this old fashioned myth that it, it would so sober you up. I think everyone remembers in Back to the Future 3 when, when the guy offers, the, that bartender offers um, Doc the, the coffee to help kind of, I guess, get the alcohol out of his system or his bloodstream. But it's far from it. There was actually a recent study done at Temple University in the Journal of Behavior and Neuroscience that also disperses. And there's been many other studies along with this. And the main thing here is that coffee can affect your drunken sting and make you feel like you're, you feel more sober than what you actually are. And the caffeine is also a stimulant, which will also make you naturally feel more hyper and just more alert so it it's not it's it's a um false effect and and it it, it doesn't um cleanse the system any faster than than any other substance number four is that coffee should be stored in the fridge this is um this is actually terrible for a coffee and and this is why is that in coffee is that, um, or in a refrigerator, you have all those, um, like you can have fish and vegetables, produce. Um, these, all these things actually will absorb into the coffee and will actually influence the flavor. Um, so you're just better off keeping the, the beans stored at room temperature, airtight container, or the, the, the cases or the packaging that coffee brands typically provide are 100% sufficient for for storing the coffee. Um, and so number five is you cannot burn coffee with hot water. This is a big, big thing that I, I see. Th this actually is probably, um, it, it is seen by so many people in, in coffee shops around America. Um, I, I won't name the coffee, sh the, this coffee shop, but one that I frequent often does this all the time. They, um, and, and this is just, just the same as you need coffee that's sufficiently hot, too hot. It does burn the beans. And, um, what happens is that, um, it, it will cause the, the overheated water will extract some of the, the bitter oils from the coffee and basically the, those flavors will permeate into the beverage more and it may even scorch them um, which will give you a burnt flavor so 
water temperature varies slightly on brewing method and whatnot, but always aim for between 195 to 205 Fahrenheit. And for people on the metric system, 91 Celsius to 96 Celsius, otherwise you'll get a burnt taste. Okay, um, the next one is coffee doesn't help you focus. And, okay, I'll leave a disclaimer here. I didn't start drinking coffee until I was 20. I did not drink at all in high school. I, I drank a little tea. I was just mostly a milk and, and water kind of person and juice. Um, and I didn't, I didn't, I just, it wasn't my thing, I guess. Now, research has shown that coffee can, in fact, affect your, your memory and concentration. In um, 2005, they did a medical study at um, in Innsbruck, Austria, which showed MRI scans, um, or MRI scans showed increased activity of the anterior cingulate and in the cingulate gyrus in the prefrontal lobe of the of the brain. And these are the areas of the brain that are involved with planning, attention, monitoring, and concentration. In these all are all areas that help for studying, for, for work, whether you're in office or at school, whatever it may be. Um, th there's been plenty of conclusive evidence. It does indeed help you focus better. And just be careful not to drink too much because that can cause over um, like anxiety and um, overstimulant. So number nine is that... Um, or that's actually um, that that was the last last point. So um, just keep these in mind and and go out and make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Thank you.